Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing another Flying Simulator 19 video today. And, uh, yeah. So let's get right into it. I've got the A410 warming up. My top coming up. And, uh, we also got our pressure washer and our gas pump now on the farm. The only thing we need to build is a shop still. So, uh, yeah. We're going to hop in the A410 a minute and wash it up um let's see okay i thought it was opening that window it wasn't no what am i oh i was hitting the wrong way I'm trying to raise the steering wheel up there we go all right so like i said we're gonna get this thing washed up and then after that we're gonna get everything put away and we have to make a trip to the shop if you're new to the channel and are enjoying the videos or do enjoy farm sim videos let me know by liking and consider subscribing for me It'd be greatly appreciated if you're enjoying this series comment down below um actually even if you're not comment down below and let me know what you think of the series so like I said when you get the a 10 washed up and the disc washed up and that warning sign's dirty oh i think we need a sticker for it or something i don't know whatever it's fine so then we're gonna get the disc washed up this thing is very dirty we're gonna get the disc put away i think i'm gonna put it in the barn with the planter which I don't know if I told you guys what burn that is, or showed you guys, I mean. So, let's see in a minute. Yeah, this thing all washed up. Doesn't gotta be spotless. But, just get it washed up. And, alright. Now we will hop back in. Fire up again. We are gonna come over here. And open our door. I guess technically I could have opened it from the outside, but I was doing that to be a little bit more realistic. And we're also going to come in here and open up this door. Alright. So now we'll hop in here, put the tractor away. Or not tractor, well, I mean, we're going to put both things away. We're going to put the disc and the tractor away, but we got to put the disc away first. barn like i said guys if you are enjoying the series let me know by hitting a like it's very appreciated i'm gonna make sure we back on straight here one of these duels it's kind of hard for me to tell where the edge is yeah see sometimes i run like up the wall like i did right there see that time i just hit the wall like i said with the duels it's hard for me to tell where the edge of them are, so I know if I'm going to hit or not. Alright, unhook the disc. There's our nice planter, we'll be using that soon. Maybe in the next video, actually. I'm not 100% sure on that, but possibly in the next video. And then, I'm going to put the 8410 in here next to the disc bind. We do have the nice old 4440, old, nice John Deere. Gotta love that old iron hooked on it. That's probably what we will use as well. Let me cut hay. That's probably what we'll use. Or, um, today we are picking up another tractor. It's part of the equipment we're getting. We're gonna, um, so yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get another tractor and we got a few more things to get from the shop. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna jump in the Ford and we're gonna head down to the shop and go get our equipment. We are getting some hay equipment, I will tell you that. This will be the last of the hay equipment that we need to get. So I'm not gonna make that turn just about ran into the fence 
We're just gonna turn around real quick in here. Now we should be able to make it, yep. All right guys, we're gonna hit the road and head to the shop and then from there, we will load up our equipment and bring it home. So I will talk to you guys when I get to the shop. All right, so we just pulled into the shop and when I come around this corner, you're gonna see our new tractor. There it is. You can't tell what it is very good right now. But uh, yeah, here it is. It is a John Deere, of course. Because like I said, when I started the series, we were gonna be trying to run a John Deere farm. I said I was gonna get some new Holland stuff too. Because uh, like I said, like I said, at least I think I said my great grandpa passed away almost, I think it was almost a month ago. Yeah, it was almost a month ago at this point. Um, so, I, and, uh, he was a, he was a New Holland man, so I kind of want to have some New Holland stuff here and there, um, for him, but I don't know if we will on this farm or not. So anyway, here is our John Deere is a 6175R, and we have this coon tether on the back. Um, the reason I got a tether is so we can fluff out our grass and it will turn into hay because that's how farmstone works. And uh, then it will dry quicker. And then we also, this is going to be our baler. It is used, but it's a 466 baler, John Deere round baler. So, uh, yeah. The front loader on our tractor is definitely a little bit big, but it does work and it doesn't look too bad. At least I don't think so. So here's our new tractor, 6175R. I do like this thing. It's the newest tractor we got on the farm. So yeah. We are going to get rolling here. And, um, yeah, so we're going to load this up, and then I'll talk to you guys when we get back to the house. All right, so we just got back to our farm. Um, I had to take the bale spike, or the bale spear, whatever you want to call it, bale spike, bale spear, whatever you want to call it. I had to take it off the front of the front loader so it would fit. We just put it in the back of our pickup truck, our Ford. We'll lift the rake. Or the, not the right, excuse me, the tether. Oh. So what the tether does, if you don't know, it spreads the hay out. And it spreads it out, makes it thinner. Because when you cut it, it's kind of in a thick like pile. I mean, not super thick, it's not like a row. But, I mean, it is a row, but it's not like as big and bunched up like a row would be when we rake hay. It is more kind of flat, but still... Poofy, I guess you could call it. Poofy. I guess. Maybe that would be the word for it. But anyway, a titter. Or maybe a, you could call it a fluffer. It spreads it out. And um, makes it so the sun and wind and everything can get to it better. And it will dry it out faster. So then it will bail quicker. Because you want to bale hay when it's dry. Now on farms, then, oh my gosh, I just accidentally hit the wrong button. I just accidentally hired a worker. <laughs> okay, fold this back up, and then we can unhook it. But anyway, tether spreads it out so the hay can dry. So, oh, our tractor does have a center of two. I forgot to mention that. But anyway, so that's what a tether does. Um, we still have to get the baler, but I think I'm going to um, take the truck to go get that. I'm just playing with the controls here, figuring out what does what. I think we're going to take the truck to go pick up the baler. So yeah, I'm going to get the bale spear out of the back of the truck. And uh, yeah, first we're going to pick up this barn. So yeah, guys. I'm going to get the bale spear out of the truck. Now we got to go pick up our baler. 
gonna take the track or the trailer off the truck but yeah i will talk to you guys in a bit all right we are headed to the shop i'm gonna speed the video up a bit and then like i said i will talk to you guys when we get there Alright, we just got back to the shop. We're gonna back up to the round baler and then haul it home. And then, and then I don't know what. And then that might be the end of the video. We might do something else. I don't know. Probably the end of the video. This is getting to be like a pretty long video. I think it's gonna be close to like 15 minutes. I think. So, like I said, we're going to haul this thing home, and I will talk to you guys in a while. Alright guys, as we near the end of the video, I would like to say thank you for watching if you watched this video up until this point. Even if you skipped around, thank you for watching what you did. Um, all I gotta do is put this baler away. If you are new, please consider subscribing, and if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. Anything is appreciated. Comments, likes new subscribers would be great but uh yeah if you enjoy farm some content please let me know in the comments and if you're enjoying the series leave a like also if you want to watch previous farm sim videos if you go to my channel like my channel page there's a whole farm sim playlist that i've made of the videos that i've made that's gonna be it for today guys like i said i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did Please drop a like, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.